Hello, family and friends. It's June 3rd, 2024, and uh, probably going to get to go fishing. Uh, first time fishing in 2024. Been busy doing other things, but today I'm going with my buddy Gus. Gus was uh, in school with me. And he lives in our community. And so today we're going up fishing. We're going to Trujillo Meadows. And uh, <clears throat> Trujillo Meadows is located in the Rocky Mountains, Colorado. Typically we've had pretty good luck at Trujillo Meadows. Nothing real big. But uh, usually we we get our limits. Of course, I just jinxed us by saying that. So anyway, I'm pulling up to Gus's house right now. I'm going to help him get loaded, and uh, we'll be on our way. Ready? Yeah, let's go. Okay, we. Had to make a pit stop, get uh, some worms. Yeah, we use worms from time to time to fish. So anyway, we had to make a quick pit stop here. So we're gonna go inside and hopefully they have worms and maybe, you know, buy a goodie or two. All right, we're back in the vehicle. Now we're headed to Trujillo Meadows. I better keep it on the right side of the road. Yeah, you better. Well, we're headed up uh, Canes Canyon. A lot of memories coming up this road as a kid. This is the way we'd go to my parents' cabin and at uh, Rocky Mountain. Rocky Mountain something, Rocky Mountain States. Rocky Mountain cabins, somewhere up there anyway. Soon we'll be heading up Cumbres. Pass or Lamenga Pass. I don't know which, but it's hard to call both. It's a little windy, Gus. What a show. Elevation 10,230 feet. Here it gets a little thinner up here. Well, we just pulled into the reservoir and you can hear but the wind is whipping through here, this canyon. But it's that time of year. Fall blows. Still snow up high. Maybe we get our tackle out, get our lines wet. Ouch. Well. Oh wow, I think I'm going to get my feet wet here. Got it down here to cross a little...
I uh, picked up some smart water. But I'm going to be honest with you. I can't tell it's made a difference yet. You know, I keep drinking it just in case. There's Gus getting his worm on. So my friend Gus and I have been here over two hours and we have yet to have a bite, not a nibble. I've tried different baits, I've spinner fished. I have never come to this reservoir and dog caught fish. I guess it's true, the old adage, that's why it's called fishing and not catching. Have you ever seen such a damn mess of lures tangled in? Not really sure how that happened, but what a mess. Well, fish for three hours. Not a single nibble. Change baits, fish with lures. I have never come here and been skunked. Really disappointing. I don't know. It's gotta be a hungry fish somewhere in this lake, but I have yet to see anyone here catch a fish today. So I'll make my way back to the truck. I guess I can't complain. Well, thanks for joining us today on this fishing trip. If you like my channel, please subscribe, hit the like button, notification button, and Well, what do you think of our day of fishing? It sucks. <laughs> but that's all right. Yeah, you know what they say. A bad day of fishing beats a good day of work. Yep. Oh. Those boots came in handy. Yeah, they do. Well, the last time, two times we fished here, I ended up losing my shoe <laughs> in the mud. Well, not this time. We came, we fished, we got skunked. <laughs> not, not a... Not even a bite. Not even a bite. My, my bait, my worm, my lures, spinners were untouched. Untouched. Unbelievable. Never happened here. I don't know if it's ever happened anywhere I've been. But uh, 
you know, I guess that's the way it is. We're going to head on out of here, and uh, if we get down in time, we might have to stop and get a little bite to eat. Sounds good to me. Get out of here. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, keep calm and carry on.